apparently I'm amazing at that. Hi YouTube, welcome back to this week's YouTube, which it's, it's me in isolation. It's, I was like, it's boring, but you know what? It's not that boring. We're going to make it fun <coughs> because I have COVID as I told you guys in the last video. Um, I just, it was inevitable. I'm almost glad that I got it now because start of the year, just get it done, get it out of the way. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Big year ahead. I've got a whole lot of filming I need to do for the new project that is launching this quarter <laughs> famous last words um so i really was like okay cool glad i didn't have that booked in now i can recover and then do that hopefully at the end of this month and i'll be energetic and i won't be it won't be ruined by covid at least on my end so i'm just going to show you like what i'm doing in isolation and some food um, I'm actually not going to train this whole time. One, because I have literally no equipment here. I left that all at my dad's. And it's funny because when I moved here, I was like, do I need it? And I was like, nah. But I just, I can't with home workouts. Like I'm, I'm so, so done with them. My workout has been going up and down the stairs here because I get to the top to the third floor and I'm like, whew, I'm puffed. And it's like, I said this to you guys last week. I'm not sure if that's a COVID or if that's just me and my lack of cardio fitness. I should work on that this year. Um, so yeah, let's get into isolating with me. I've already been isolating for a bit because I showed you in the last video and it's pretty much over, but let's see what I get up to. Deliveries. I am um, really confused because, all right, so here's my monitor. It looks big. My monitor has come from my, whoa, whoa. my desk has come and I did this thing. This is the second time I've done this where I think I put something in my basket and it was the wrong thing and I forgot to take it out or I didn't realize I put it in my basket. So anyway, I've got two of those one smaller than that. So now I'm gonna have to return that at some point when I'm allowed to leave. 
but my monitor has come, a mirror has been delivered from Ikea, and then I just had a message saying my JB Hi-Fi order was delivered. And I was like, oh cool, went outside my door, thinking it would be at my door, wasn't there, checked my mailbox, nothing in there. And I'm like, wait, what did I order from JB Hi-Fi? Nothing, and I couldn't find an email. So I don't know if it was a scam, <laughs> but then I checked the toll website and there's actually something there. So I'm really confused. Anyway, this will go into that. Perhaps I should read the instructions. I'll show you guys the mirror because I was trying to figure out where to put everything because obviously mirrors need like plain white wall to go up against. I want a mirror in each of the main rooms. So I want one down here. I want one in my room, which I have, but I want a bigger one in there. So maybe I'll bring the current one I have in my room down here. And then the mirror upstairs in the kitchen is probably where I'll take most of the photos. And yeah, I was just trying to rearrange it. Like where does the plant go? Cause the plant spread out, spreads out quite a bit, has long arms. And I also need my artwork to come. So there's a lot of things to fit in. I don't want to like crowd the space too much. I gather this is quite straightforward. I need to make that, but that's going to be straightforward because the legs literally just screw in. So yay. And then that'll be the L out there. And then my keyboard and mouse is old. Like, you know how Mac mouses and keyboards, you just charge them in with the cord to charge. These are battery operated. So I think I'm just going to buy new ones. Yeah, anyway, this is probably boring for you to watch. I'll show you once I've set it up. Maybe an update on how I'm feeling. I feel fine. Like, I still <coughs> I still just have this cough. Like, my, <coughs> my throat just feels like it needs to be cleared. And I feel... I'm still feeling pretty tired. I'm just a bit congested, but that's it. I reckon... I reckon I'm in the clear now, but hopefully my tests arrive today. Could it be that simple? I don't need to do anything with screws. It doesn't look like it. Wow. Okay, I should put this in that first. Office setup. Oh wait, it's kind of partial um, because I haven't done the desk yet, but we have the monitor, computer, keyboard and mouse and stuff. Yay. And my food was just delivered. So we can, by we, I mean I, you guys clearly aren't going to help me. This is what I need to get up all the stairs. So let's do it. Oh, I did that in two goes. So I did like two bags. That is, that is a hot commodity right now. Two bags and then I did all the rest. Well, so this is my outfit today. How cute is it? It's Venom, M Davies brand. The shorts and the shirt, which I'm just wearing open. And I made sure to get it because it's true to size. So I got large, um, cause I want it to be oversized. So, oh, this is the mirror. <laughs> I um, it's a big one, and I moved the plant there, which looks a bit cramped. But if I pull it out, it's kind of going to be in the way. So I'm not sure where else it can go because this is where the door opens. Well, I've already moved the catch across, and I don't really want to put it up there. So where else? Unless I put it in a different room. I do need to get more greenery for up here though. So. All right, let's unpack some groceries. What? <laughs> 
that's all in. I just haven't organized any of it. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in all of these drawers that I need to go through and organize. Fridge has been stocked in the freezer. I all of a sudden feel really unwell. I think I just need to sit down because it's been, you know, first day back at work and like I've been doing quite a bit compared to what I've used to been doing and my energy is still not at 100 with COVID so I'm just gonna have a little break and a sit down for a bit. It's it's 20 to 6. My goal is to like finish work at 5 and then do an hour of study. I'm just not at 100 yet so I'm going to rest and if I'm feeling better maybe make that desk. Hello. Hi. I'm having lunch. It is a gigantic bowl of salad, except it's empty because I've finished it. Um, it was really yum. I have been trying to like mix it up a bit with the recipes that I've been making. Oh, this is going to be hot. So I got out of isolation tomorrow. I didn't film a ton just because it was pretty boring. <laughs> I feel like I tried to do all of the things that you do when you're in isolation like clean and organized but i didn't i was missing important parts to make that happen like i don't have a mop and i really want to mop the floors so to order one it hasn't come yet i've done a lot of washing i'm about to hang out some more washing because it is so hot today i've actually been filming the stacks active wear that i showed you guys showed you guys get your words up showed you guys last week <laughs> i'm wearing the crop of the black set now. So that was fun doing some content. I whipped out the big beast camera. Isn't it a weapon? Um, I've got a giant tripod for it, but I don't have an attachment for it. So I was using my other one. Um, so that was cool. And that's why I have makeup on because I've really been loving the no makeup life. Though I do love putting makeup on because it just, it, it feels nice, but it's like, it also feels like sludgy. <laughs> like I touch my skin and I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> this is what my YouTube has come to not working out, barely getting my steps in, just doing washing and cleaning and working. Um, I am just so glad that I'm back at work though because I love what I do so much. <laughs> and it was really nice to have time off and it's just so nice to be back because I have something to focus on. I would be so bored if I didn't have work. Um, okay, let's hang the washing out. Fun. just about to go to the gym so I'm making a little treat for patch peanut butter Kong delicious so I've got little dental sticks and peanut butter Kong obviously he hasn't spent a lot of time alone in this house because I've been in isolation for most of the time that I've been here but I always feel bad leaving him so plus I'm gonna be at the gym for a couple of hours because I'm gonna film some content as well and I'm gonna walk there and it's like 32 degrees today. It's currently 27. So I've got all the blinds down. Um, it's not too hot in here, but yeah, the air con I'll put on when I get back. So I'm ready to go. This is, let me show you my outfit. So we've got the Stax Summer 22 in blue. Have to wear short today because it is that hot. So I'm just gonna have a light sesh. I've got a new program. It is a squat day today. So I'm just gonna take my squat shoes and just warm up properly, do some of my rehab and, and I will take you guys along for the ride. Oh my God.
And I got into my squat, so I did a few warm-up sets, and then I just did three sets. The rep range was eight to 10, and I only used 50 kilos for this. And then the next exercise, machine hip thrust. So I'm really fortunate to have this machine at the gym. You can use a barbell hip thrust or a dumbbell hip thrust if you don't have the machine. I just did 60 kilos and whatever that machine weighs and the rep range here was 10 to 12, but I just did 10 reps for all three sets. Then moving on to a superset. This is part of my rehab, this exercise. So this is a single layer chair bridge struggling a bit to get the dumbbell onto my hips and I did 27.5 kilos for 12 reps each leg and superset that with a glute cable kickback. So I'm using the elevated step, you can use a weight plate or something, to make my pelvis level. So you see when you do hip thrusts, you reduce your range of motion because your foot can't sweep properly. So when you elevate yourself, it can sweep under properly. Make sure you're squeezing a little bit at the top. So when the leg is straightened back behind you, really feel that contraction in the glute. That's just gonna help with a little bit of growth there. Moving on to the final superset, this next exercise is one of um, one of my rehab exercises. So it's a single leg leg curl with a slow eccentric. So for this, I was going up with two legs and then dropping one leg and the eccentric was about six seconds. The goal is like four to six seconds on the eccentric. And then I superset that with the leg extension. So I did 12 reps, so you could do 10 to 12 reps on the leg extension. Again, this was two sets. Back from the gym, um, I felt really bad because I got back and Patch was waiting. So as soon as you walk in, there's like the staircase to go up and he was just sitting on the step with his little spiky ball. And I was like, have you been here the whole time? When I left, he was, he was eating one of his dental sticks. I left another one somewhere and then I gave him his peanut butter Kong and I can see that they've all been eaten and the Kong's been cleaned out, but then he must just go and sit on the step and wait for me the entire time until I get home. And it just makes me so sad. Cause I'm like, what is he like? He's got a whole house and toys to play with. Anyway, maybe I should get some of those dog cameras to see what he actually gets up to. And hopefully he just adjusts. Um, random things you do when you get out of isolation. Okay, so. What I'm about to show you, can you guess what it is? Taking guesses in the comments. You're not allowed to comment after you've seen what it is, but based on what I'm doing, have a guess. But I was having a conversation and I was like, I really want to take up, <laughs> that was really coordinated, hula hooping. And I saw a little $2 shop and they had this hula hoop, it was like $3. So let's, let's see my form. Been a while, while. It's been a long time, time. Oh, oh. All right, guys, I'm good. Is it cheating because I've got a bit of a shelf? Oh no, it's going down. Quick speed. Okay. <laughs> anyway, apparently I'm amazing at that. How many of you guessed that it was a hula hoop? All right, and then put it over my head. Ah! <laughs> anyway, that's. <laughs> What did you do when you got out of lockdown, Soph? Um, I bought a hula hoop. What did you do? Um, I also went to the gym. Obviously, you guys saw that. I'm really puffed. One of my symptoms is just like extreme fatigue, which I think is pretty much everyone's experience that has COVID. So yeah, so I mean, I was expecting it, but it's also 32 degrees and this top is drenched in sweat from being tucked under my crop top. It was a hot workout. It felt like it went for ages too because I was filming both on my phone and on this camera. So it just took a really long time. I think I was gone for an hour and a half total, which actually isn't that long. It's usually like two hours, but not like I'm working out for that long. Just like getting to the gym, messing around, filming, all that stuff, doing my rehab. And then I didn't do one of my rehab exercises because I was like, I've got to get out. I'm worried about Patch. Anyway, I'm gonna make some quick lunch. I didn't make leftovers for dinner last night, so I'm gonna make something, I think, maybe I will grill some chicken and do like a chicken salad sandwich. I don't have mayonnaise though. All right, let's have lunch.
we work. I have got so much work to do. Um, it's so funny. Obviously, I had more time here when I was isolating to work and now it's just like, whoa, I get so much more done when I'm not training, like taking chunky, taking that chunk of time to train. Obviously, I just think I need to change my structure a bit. I love training mid-morning and I have the luxury of doing that because I have my own business and I set my own times. So I think I might do some testing over the few, over the next few weeks and just see. I'm not going to try anything new yet just because I'm already struggling to wake up as it is with the COVID fatigue. And I've heard that that lasts for a bit. All right, guys, I hope this was an enjoyable video to watch. I am so freaking glad that I'm out of isolation now. And I'm so paranoid that I'm going to get it again. So at the gym, I was like extra sanitizing and extra wiping down equipment and wearing my mask. I wasn't wearing my mask when I was training. That's not something we have to do here, but out and about I was. So yeah, I just really hope I don't get it again. And I know people, I've seen people online that have. So if I, it happens, it happens. It's not even like COVID that sucked for me. It was just the isolation part. So I'll know how to do it next time better, I guess if that happens again. Anyway, thanks so much for being here and hanging out with me. If you guys have any questions, comments, chuck them down. I respond to everything and it really means a lot to have your support. So I'll see you guys back here next week. Make sure you subscribe, like, and turn post notifications on so you don't miss a video. Bye. Mwah.